My late wife, uh, Trish, and I formed Us Against Alzheimer's in 2010 because we were frustrated and angry at the lack of peace and energy and passion in the Alzheimer's movement. Her grandmother had died of this disease. Her mother had died of this disease. We were joined by a small group of friends who themselves had experienced Alzheimer's in their families. We collaborate with researchers, with corporations, uh, with other non-governmental organizations and nonprofits, uh, because we want everybody to win. My mother was diagnosed and I became uh, very well acquainted with the disease. We began by bringing together those most affected, including women, because women are two-thirds of the patients and two-thirds of the caregivers. We brought together grassroots supporters and influential women and convened conversations to build momentum. We formed partnerships with world-class organizations, companies, institutions, and thought leaders to create awareness and quickly become one of the first women's Alzheimer's movements called Women Against Alzheimer's. From the start, we focus on inequities in brain health because black Americans are twice as likely as whites to develop Alzheimer's. We established African Americans against Alzheimer's to promote brain health, research equity, and healthy aging among the black community. We built the first ever coalition of community-based organizations coordinating Alzheimer's awareness and brain health promotion efforts in the Latino community. Latinos Against Alzheimer's mobilizes researchers, advocates, and community leaders to take action on brain health disparities impacting millions of Latino families. We have all lived the Alzheimer's journey. We know its pain points, um, the details of the challenges and how the disease confounds every patient, every caregiver, and their families. We've also navigated the stark reality that no matter what we do or what we did at home or it, with a loved one in a facility, the disease always wins. We started the Global Alzheimer's Platform to address the cost, duration, and frankly, the inefficiency of Alzheimer's clinical trials. With industry, clinical trial participant, and philanthropic support, we created a network in North America of more than 80 research sites to speed the delivery of innovative therapies to those afflicted with Alzheimer's. We have increased the amount of research investment annually at NIH from $440 million a year to over $2.8 billion a year. We have a clinical trial network that is speeding clinical innovations to market. And we're going to have three drugs on market next year for the first time since 2004. Our team is working harder than ever for the millions of Americans who are suffering from Alzheimer's, and indeed for those that have experienced COVID in their families and Alzheimer's as well. Because of them, thanks to you, there's hope on the horizon. Join us. Come join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us.